Hey everyone and welcome to another day of the vlog. So there wasn't uh, any videos the last couple days. Uh, Sunday I had a long run, so just short of uh, 30k in two hours. Just a good little, good little long run for sure. Um, and after uh, the two, two bikes that you would have seen on the Saturday, it was, it was hard just from that. It's basically like a, uh, it's basically like an extended long brick. If you do an especially big bike the day before, then you still have that fatigue in the legs the next day. Very tough. Uh, the legs were toast at the start. Um, luckily, actually, those Science and Sport gels are saviors. They, well, my review on them is instant energy. Like, they, they, I don't know, they get into your system so fast. I've never had a gel, uh, like, really be like that immediate. I can't even snap, my hands are too cold. Uh, so I did like a minute on, minute off, uh, and then did two minutes on, two minutes off for like an hour total. Uh, so the, the whole run, long run was two hours on the dot and it was 29.5K. So average pace of 404 per kilometer, 1900 calories burned, that's good. On a very, uh, as hilly as it gets, like I don't want to say hilly route because like the fact of the matter is is after you've been to like places like Park City, Utah and stuff like that, there, this isn't a hilly, there is no real hills here. But in terms of Thornhill running, this was kind of like hitting all the big kind of hills like around. Um, so I did that and then the rest of the day was pretty easy. There was just an easy bike in there and some lifting. And then yesterday on Monday uh, was based on last week because I learned from last week and that is after the very big weekend, it's not a good idea to push that Monday hard at all. So ended up doing a very easy swim and that was it. That was, that was the whole day, whole day. So back at it today, did a hour long run in the morning and then an hour pretty good quality swim. And now we're, the hour run by the way was just pretty easy on the treadmill. Went on the treadmill just to give my labrum a bit of a break. Find the labrum has no issue, no pain at all on the treadmill. Um, and it's still a little achy or was still a little bit achy from the morning's run. So good idea just to give it, give it some more time uh, of a break. Because again, last Wednesday it was an issue. Um, so this will, on the, on the speed workout that is, so this will give it another extra day even though we ran, technically, the, the late one doesn't think it ran, so, anyways. So, now we're just on to the bike. This is the main, the main session of the day, for sure. This is Project 360 number five. And this is a big one because not so much that it's a, a massive workout, but it's just it, it triggers or it signifies the beginning of kind of the next phase in Project 360. So we achieved first part, which was to get to being able to do 10 times three minutes at 360 plus, so at like 367 or so average uh, on one minute recovery. And now we're on to the next phase that is preparing, that was really just preparing us for this next phase, which was two minuters, but on 30 second recoveries. And the two minuters are being done at 115% FTP. So eventually the goal is to get to being able to do 10 times two minutes at 115% FTP on 30 second recovery. So today we're gonna kind of just feel out how that, what that'll sort of feel like. So it'll be four times two minutes with 30 second recovery at 115% FTP, which is 375 watts. Now it's kind of interesting because when I wrote the workout last week, or two weeks ago I guess now, uh, the, uh, this one looked rather intimidating, but actually after the effort on the Saturday night there, slightly less intimidating because I know I'm physically capable of doing it. Because in that race, I'll put it on the screen now, I can't remember off the top of my head what it was, but I think it was like 380 for eight minutes straight. 
So here you're doing 375 over an eight minute period, but, or a 10 minute period. So with 30 second recoveries between every two minute or so. Physically, I know I'm capable of doing it. It's just a matter of getting pumped up enough to be able to do it. And fatigue's not really a uh, valid issue just because when I did that, I was very fatigued as well with the morning's workout being so difficult. So anyways, check back in, uh, see how things are going in a little bit. After that, there's some sprints on the end of it, and then we're done for the day. Alrighty, first set down. It was a lot better than I thought. Not as bad as I thought. Um, like I said, it was a big confidence booster on the weekend, being able to hold that like basically straight, because now you know from that then that it's just a matter of willpower, right? You know, physically you can do it. Anyway, so that was four times two minutes on 30 second rest. Every single one of them was over 380. 375 was the goal. There were a couple in there that were like 384. Um, so probably 381, 382 average. So good power. Gone to the second set now in a few minutes. We just got six minutes between the sets.
What a workout. That was a good one. Felt great. Start to finish, just super relaxed. The more relaxed I am, the better. It's just like the swim this morning. The more I tense up, the worse I swim. It's, it's logical, right? Felt relaxed in the shoulders and translated to amazing power there. That was, I think, 385 average on the second set, if not higher. I was real good. Alrighty, I got three sprints to go. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be showing what it, uh, a day of eating looks like. Because I think uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in the news and whatnot about nutrition and stuff like that. And I think you'll see from tomorrow that what a elite level triathlete eats is not really any different than a normal person. My line on it is, is we eat all the same food, just more of it. So I think that'll be interesting to see. Anyways, so three sprints left here to go. And then that's the, uh, that's uh, with the workout, the beauty, absolute beauty. Thanks so much for watching. If you like, hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Helps me out a lot. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for a day of eating.